Lauren, it's awesome to see you, and thank you for the very, very generous uh, remarks, Max. Uh, thank you for having us. Um, it's a thrill to be here, I have to say. Uh, the morning staff meeting was a lot, uh, a lot of uh, excitement today. Going home last night was a lot of excitement. I don't know if that's what Lauren would call nerding out, but uh, <laughs> that's what it was. But uh, I, I just can't thank the Partnership for Public Service uh, and your leadership enough. Uh, the work that you do supporting us, uh, hosting us for our off-sites, uh, always there with really actionable, concrete ideas on how to improve um, our performance is a really great thing. And uh, I also want to note that I was listening to a podcast the other night, and uh, Michael Lewis considers you a, a personal friend, quoting you uh, robustly across his, all his platforms. So that's, that's a striking thing in and of itself. Um, I'm thrilled to be here with part of our team, uh, John, Carol, and Gina, and especially Steve Lieberman, I just want to uh, point out for a second. Um, he's been leading our uh, largest um, administration, the Veterans Health Administration now, for uh, over a year. Um, while we work for Congress, the Senate, and its wisdom to work through the nomination process, um, Steve has been terrorist and took uh, his first vacation in, in the course of the pandemic uh, about two weeks ago. And I cannot thank him enough uh, for his great work. Um, this is the first time ever for VA in the top five of best places to work rankings, and I couldn't be more proud of this team and the people that they represent. Now, I do want to make some remarks. I'll be quick because I know I stand between you and breakfast. Um, but really, I want to talk directly to the people who actually earn these honors. Every employee, every manager, particularly pleased about that data that Lauren showed about supervisors and the trust in supervisors. Uh, and every public servant at VA. The work that VA employees have done over the past couple of years, much of which Lauren just highlighted, is nothing short of heroic. And the same goes, frankly, for all of the public service public servants in your agencies uh, across the federal government. This pandemic has been a time when veterans and, frankly, all Americans have needed you most. Vets and non-vets alike have been grieving, having lost loved ones, and fearing for their own lives, in fact. They've been simultaneously juggling, juggling job, jobs, illnesses, financial hardship, and children staying home from school, each of the things that Lauren just pointed out in the, in the data. And in this time of darkness, they turn to you. They've relied on you. And despite the fact that you've dealt with everything that they've been dealing with, you've stepped up for them and you've delivered. You've stepped up for the country and delivered no matter the circumstances and notwithstanding significant risks. And let's be clear, there have been many risks. At VA, our employees have repeatedly been exposed to COVID, slept overnight in hospitals, worked long hours at our national cemeteries, and at our regional benefits offices, and left their own families to travel to the hardest hit parts of the country, literally running into the storm. And in fact, Hundreds of VA employees have given their own lives, all to save or improve the quality of life for the veterans we serve. And I know that the other federal employees represented here today have done similarly perilous and life-saving work. Simply put, it's no exaggeration to say that VA employees, like all federal employees, have been the backbone of this country during a pandemic. Each of you could have easily left public service and focused on your own lives, focused on your own kids during this trying time. But you did. You stayed right where you are. You stayed engaged and you served. You did the hard thing, not the easy thing. And for that, we are all, each and every one of us, forever in your debt. 
So yes, I'm proud to receive these honors on behalf of VA and to share them with so many agencies from across the federal government. But the reality is, it's not me that earned these awards. It's the great public service servants at VA who have earned them. Both for making VA a fantastic place for work and for delivering world-class care and benefits to veterans every single day during the pandemic. So in accepting these honors today, I also want to make a promise to the employees who earned them and accept the call to action that Lauren just gave to each of us. I promise to do everything in my power to serve you, to listen to you, to respond to you, to engage with you, every bit as well as you've served us and served our veterans. Because the best public servants in America deserve the very best places to work. And we will never, never settle for giving you anything less. So my congratulations to each and every one of you, our partners in the federal workforce, and on behalf of VA, thank you again, Max, Lauren, and team, for this remarkable recognition. Thank you to VA's, most importantly, VA's public servants for the amazing work you do every day. It's such an honor, in fact, a blessing to get a chance to work. So, thanks again.